Well, uh, first off, I want to thank everyone for, for being here this afternoon. Um, one week ago, the Texas State Aquarium experienced one of the most significant losses of marine life in our 25-year history. 389 fish, including some of our most iconic species, such as our sand tiger shark, were lost during a medical treatment. During that treatment, we uh, administered what we thought was a low dose of the drug trichloroform, and it was introduced into our main aquarium system. Yesterday afternoon, we received preliminary lab results, and I want to emphasize that these are preliminary, but preliminary lab results, these were from chemists at the Summit Environmental Technical Laboratory, and those results indicated that the drug was in fact not trichloroform, but instead an isomer of hydroquinone. Uh, according to the National Institutes of Health website, hydroquinone is a uh, commonly used uh, chemical. It can be found in film processing. It's a stabilizer used as a stabilizer in paint and motor fuels. Um, it's also used in cosmetics. It is uh, known as a hematoxin, which means it's a blood poison. And it's also a known uh, carcinogen. We, uh, we're, we're continuing the investigation and to further verify these results, we have sent samples out to additional laboratories, including the uh, Texas Veterinary Diagnostic Medical Laboratory, and in turn, they're working with other laboratories as well to, uh, to make sure that we can uh, verify all these results. And as more of those results come in, we'll make sure and, and share those with you as well. Uh, but right now, our staff is largely focused on the recovery effort. I will share with you that we've received a tremendous outpouring of support, uh, over 30 aquariums and zoos from all over the country, from as far away as Canada and even Singapore, have, uh, have reached out to us, offered their condolences, offered support for our staff, and, and many of those have actually offered to send us animals. In fact, we've uh, received the first shipment, um, several lionfish from uh, the Sea Life Center in Grapevine, Texas. Now we're in the process of, of cleaning all of our systems to make sure to remove any trace of the toxin. Uh, once we've established that the water is safe, we'll begin adding new fish, and we think that could happen as early as this week. We've had a lot of questions about the financial impact, and it, and it really is too early to determine what that impact is. We have reduced our, our admission prices, and so we know that we'll be a, there will be a, a significant impact on our operating revenue. However, at this point in time, we're just not prepared to, to try and characterize that. On a brighter note, though, we are receiving a, a tremendous outpouring of support from the local community as well. Hundreds of uh, folks posting positive and inspirational messages on our Facebook, many recalling visits to the aquarium with their kids, lots of photographs of their kids with the animals. This support really, I think, has helped our team get through this very difficult period. Many folks are asking how they can help. We had a member that showed up on Saturday with a donation. Our own Mel, uh, Mayor Nelda Martinez is sending a donation. Board members have begun to send in donations. And on Saturday, I received a phone call from Wayne Squires, the CEO and founder of Orion Drilling. And he is offering to match all donations up to $50,000 to help with this recovery effort. So today, we're launching an initiative that will provide our community and our friends all over the opportunity to help us rebuild our animal collection. I would encourage anyone who is interested in helping to please visit our website for more details. Finally, I do want to recognize our animal care team, led by Alyssa Squires, our Director of Animal Care, and the assistance of Justin Sefik, our Director of Guest Relations, for their leadership and courage during the immediate aftermath of this tragic episode. They all worked diligently throughout the night to try to save our animal collection. I'm now uh, happy to take any questions that, that anyone may have. I have a museum. Sure. Uh, how, did, how did it end up mixed instead of having one? Chemicals, how did it end up, you know, having the other chemicals put in the tank? How did it get in there? We have no idea at this point. But we, we know that the that the chemical that we thought we were putting in there turned out evidently not to be the chemical that, that was labeled, that was shown on the label. So, and that's, that's part of the continued investigation. So, what was the other chemical doing here at the aquarium? Is that something that's regularly used for other things? Which other chemical? Uh, the one that was actually put into the tank. Well, so the, yeah, let me make sure I did. This is this is a very important point to explain. So we received the chemical, and it was labeled as trichloroform. Our lab results indicate that that was not the case. So somehow, in either the manufacturing process, or somehow, obviously prior to that chemical showing up here at the Texas State Aquarium, it was either mislabeled or or something happened in that process that we were not aware of. 
What's your legal options, Val? Well, it's, it's, it's early at this point, so we, we don't really know. I mean, we're, we've contacted several attorneys. We're getting advice from attorneys, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can resolve this with the company, but uh, we're certainly open to that. But it's, it's really at this point. But, but you're pursuing it, though, right? Pardon me? You're pursuing it, though. Right? Well, I wouldn't say we're, no, we're not pursuing it at this point. Right now, we're still gathering facts. Yeah. We're trying to determine if he was done maliciously or he was just a mistake. Uh, again, I have no way of knowing that. I mean, that, you know, it's just, again, too early to determine. What's the process from here to get the tank ready for uh, more fish? So the smaller systems, we've completely drained all the water out of those systems, and we've added new seawater. For the larger systems, we're, uh, we're doing uh, significant water changes. We're also applying ozone and activated carbon to remove any toxins. And then we'll continue to do water analysis. We've, we've identified laboratories that can actually detect the toxin down to one part per billion. And so we'll continue to do water sampling of that, of those systems. And then in addition, we'll also do bioassays where we'll use a, a test fish introduced into the system during successive days, days to make sure that, um, that the water is safe. So there's a, a variety of things that we're going through. When are the first going to go back to normal? How long do you have to lower first? Uh, well, we don't know that yet. Our goal is to be completely up to um, nearly 100% by June 1. And so, um, again, we're, it's early in the process, but that's the internal goal that we have set. And, and, as we, and, and this won't happen all in one day. I mean, we'll incrementally bring systems up. As I indicated earlier, I think we'll um, likely have one or two of the systems up probably by the end of this week. I guess you got rid of the parasite. Yeah, there's no 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 sign of the parasite, but again, that's a that, that you know we're the, the parasite can insist in a in an egg form, and, and so we, we we obviously want to make sure that, that we have got rid of that system. But yeah, there's no indication right now. Any of these other tanks either? Yeah. yeah. Well, good. I'm happy to. Before they administer any kind of chemical to anywhere, they don't have to check them, and they just go with whatever's labeled on the container, and that's it. They don't so what we did, we had. We, we tested with a with a, a, the same chemical, but it was a different batch number, different batch, different manufacturer. We presumed it was the same chemical. As it turns out, it was not. But yeah, that was the test was done with uh, what we presumed was the was the same chemical. It just happened to be a different batch, and now we learned that it's a completely different drug. That was so, afterwards, but uh, do, you, do you need to do something before? That was beforehand. We we conducted it. We, yeah, we conducted a test beforehand. We actually tested at a much higher dose than we ended up putting into our system with the same drug, trichloroform. However, that test was done, that there, there was a, a different batch number on that test. So you're throwing out everything? All of the chemicals? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, you, you... Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll never use that again. Any other questions? And I'm happy to, to, to visit with each of you individually afterwards, too. But uh, thanks again for coming out today, and uh, we appreciate you helping us get the information out. Thank you.